How many of you can say that? All right, here we go. What was it like? I said you parking that truck. How cool is that? We did it, we came, we conquered. I spy a little girl getting some work done. And I hear a little boy whistling. This makes my heart happy. <laughs> Good job, sis. <laughs> We're getting ready, getting the stalls ready. We're gonna go get the horses. More rain's coming, y'all. We obviously need it. Uh -huh. <sighs> girls are eating. Hey girls, you got some lunches? <laughs> what are you doing out here? Getting nasty again. What, yeah, I totally forgot to, to give a thank you. A very kind I'll show you viewer <laughs> sent the kids some knives, so yeah, Leatherman's, and they love them. He was just saying how sharp it is. It's like barely touch that, and it just cuts it so easy. They've never had a true Leatherman. These are so nice. Don't you love it? Yeah. Yeah. Got a knife on it and <laughs> everything else. Things. Pliers. Screwdrivers, flathead, and Phillips. Flathead, screwdriver, Phillips. Phillips. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let, uh, uh, file, a uh, uh, one-inch one inch. measuring <laughs> ruler. Like a ring run thing, uh, go down something, can opener, bottle can opener, opener, everything. Yeah, I mean, bottle opener. That's really cool. They're they're really enjoying them. I know that, that was supposed to be for Wesley and Daddy, but Daddy said Sissy could have it. And um, sent me a, a good pocket knife, too. So, thank you. Okay, let her rip. Let her rip. I love, I say that, and this is rip stall. See how that goes? It's just, it just fits. <laughs> um, I'm afraid, I know that I've missed, we've gotten some gifts lately, and I missed giving shout outs to everybody. And I need to go back and see. I just, um, if I don't get it done right then, then sometimes I just don't get it done. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but we appreciate it. I know one thing, Austin, you got a beautiful turquoise necklace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she did. And I never, I don't think I mentioned that. So, thank you. She loves it. I loved it. It's beautiful. I'll show you that. I'll show you that before long. So, we're getting this done. And then, um, I think we have made the executive decision. If, as long as, so they sold a load of beans yesterday. I had, I was not here at all yesterday. I had a full day of doctor's appointments. Nothing's wrong. It was maintenance. Preventative maintenance, is that what we want to call it? <laughs> um, just all the things that need to get done. I made a post online and it got a lot of response. So I hope, I'll just, I'll just say it here too. Let that be your reminder. If you haven't done your routine appointments, because I was a couple years out for some things, um, make the call, make the appointment. Your health and your future and your family is worth it. <laughs> I know everybody has different opinions about doctors. I have my own, and Lawrence definitely has his own. But I think when it comes to screenings, cancer screenings, and getting those getting those mammograms and uh, colonoscopies, if you're of that age, all that fun stuff, um, it's just really important. So there you go. That's I'll get off the soapbox now. But so that was yesterday. So uh, he sold another load of beans yesterday while I was gone, and then we got one more to go. So, not sure when that's going to happen. But, if it doesn't happen tomorrow, or if it happens in the morning, we are planning a trip, a very last minute trip, or I would have told you about it earlier. Wasn't sure it was going to happen. To the North Carolina Farm Show. I have not been in probably 10 plus years. I used to go with my company I worked for. Um, the kids have never been. <laughs> I think they'll really enjoy it. They'll enjoy getting to see all the equipment and um, we'll enjoy getting to meet some people and talk to some folks and see some things. So that's the plan tomorrow. Um, I'll try to take y'all along. We'll see how that goes. It's also supposed to rain tomorrow. So I don't know. I figured we might as well go. We might as well go and, and just do it. Just do something different. The kids are excited.
You want to get off the farm for a day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Rip. <laughs> It's just ran up over the hill. Come on, y'all. Oh, me. You got feed waiting. Here comes Rip. Here he comes. Watch. There yeah, wait for it. Oh. <laughs> Rip. Oh, my gosh. They're racing. They're racing. Ben, look at Ben. <laughs> Okay, here comes Rip. Here comes Rip. Okay, y'all, it is officially, it's officially squirrel day again. Um, both of my children have, have uh, been busy. Are you ready for it? Here we go. I've got four squirrels here. So these are big, Wesley. He got some big ones. Austin got her very... Did I tell y'all that last week? I really don't remember if I did. I know I did on Instagram. If you're not following me there, you, you should. You should do that. Because um, sometimes I forget to share things both places. Anyway, Austin killed her first squirrel out of the bathroom window last week. She was so excited. I can't remember. Did I share it? I feel like maybe I did. Anyway, um, so... We got that and then her brother I was like I need more so her brother killed a few more the last few days <laughs> so I've got enough to make squirrel dumplings so I'm doing that making squirrel dumplings super easy I'm putting them in the instapot because I'm running out of time we got to get to church so I'm gonna let them cook for a while and then we'll pick them apart and I'll make some flour and some water and we'll make dumplings and we'll call it good hopefully last time I did these they were very good so that's what we're doing y'all <laughs> um yeah. Okay. Who, who, who else? Lawrence said he really, um, would be okay if he never ate squirrel again because he ate it so much growing up. How many of you can say that? I cannot say that. I can say I never had squirrel until like two years ago when I cooked the first ones that Wesley killed. Um, it's not bad though. It's really tastes like chicken, y'all. Tastes like chicken. And they're back. Austin went with her daddy to feed hay today. <laughs> That's good. Wes was working on a paper. He got his paper written. I got an article written. And she went to help. Yes. Yes. Your family is home. <laughs> She's cutting Domino's coupons. Hoping I'll buy a pizza. Haven't done that in a long time. Maybe I'll do that soon. Bonnie thinks she's getting fed, I think. <laughs> How did feeding go? Good. Good? You got the, you just fed dry hay. Mm -hmm. So you just had to take the strings off mm -hmm. and open the gate. <laughs> okay. Everybody is so, so needy. So, so needy. <laughs> All right. Squirrel dumplings in progress. Mmm. 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 Mm. <laughs> I forgot to video it. How was it? It was good. It was good. It was good. I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of this. This is all that's left. It was very hot, though. It was very hot. Too hot to eat for a while. Made cornbread, too. Doesn't that look like yummy? <laughs> it was. It was. All right. They're going to take care of horses. I'm going to take care of dishes. And we got to go to church. <laughs> You're going to stay in here. Because otherwise, you are going to be mud dogs. And we don't need any more mud dogs right now, Rocket. Talking to you, buddy. He's the worst of them. Who, me? <laughs> Diesel preheat in progress. All right, here we go to the farm show. Is Austin in there? No, we're missing one. Here she comes. We have lovely uh, farm show weather. It's cold, damp. <laughs> Perfect, perfect day to leave the farm. Turtle one is crossed, y'all. I should get a literal prize. Come on. No, come on, I know, I'm serious. I should get a prize for the parking job that I just did. We found one that's not so far away, yeah. but it was you like, what, thank you, thank you, trash. <laughs> what would be an analogy? You're good, like, how would you say that? Like, I, what would it be like? You know, like getting in a tight spot. 
he's not playing along. But anyway, all right, we're here. We're gonna see what we can see. That's what I wanted. Okay, you just said it. What was it like? I said you parking that truck like stretching a gnat's butt across the top of a flower barrel. Okay, yeah, there we go. Playing <laughs> Dixie in the drum. Playing Dixie in a drum? I do not know what that means. Good job, Marty, good job. I'm patting myself on the back. Okay. I really thought we were gonna have to park way down there. We got lucky. Of course, we gotta walk way over there, but. So evidently, this is the fastest tractor in the world. It's a good name for it. We're having fun, y'all. We're having fun. Well, <laughs> we, <laughs> it has been fun. We, we've only been in one building, but we've already talked to like six or seven uh, different families that watch us, y'all. This is this is really fun getting to meet people um, from Florida. I mean, from Georgia, from South Carolina, from North Carolina. So yay! I was hoping we'd see some some of y'all, and we have, and it's fun. Okay, the kids are starving though, so we're trying to find food now. Gotta find food. Gotta fill. Gotta gotta fill up some bellies. Get some fuel. Um, need. We need this, don't we? <laughs> Look at that, y'all. What in the world? Hot ride back -o. How cool is that? It's got like the American flag on the bottom. That's really cool. <laughs> awesome. That is the coolest. Wow, wow, wow. The spent equipment and Wesley's just like wow. <laughs> he said you don't have to lay down to work on that. <laughs> it is very large. <laughs> Follow him. Where'd he go? <laughs> you think that would be fun to drive? I don't know. I'd be scared to death to drive something that big. Is Rita here? Is there a Rita here in the building? I don't see a Rita. I see a nice baler somebody would like to have. <laughs> hey, Wes. You just pop this thing right here and push your pin out and change the blade. Don't need no wrench. Don't, don't need a wrench. Oh. I'm not good to stay in. Them head ain't as heavy as a new Honda one. Well, I just found what we know. <laughs> Wesley said this would cook 10 steaks. It would not cook 10. Well, yes, it probably would. 20 inch, y'all. What would you What would you even put that on? You'd have to get one of those big, you big take up the burners. Whole, whole huh? Whole, take up the whole, the whole stove whole top. top. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice stuff. This is pretty. I like this enamel cast iron. This is nice. This is at the Agri Supply booth. They got all the fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's found somebody else. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, we how many times have we been stopped today? <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. Okay, well, we've been here. We did it. We came, we conquered. Somebody's back was hurting very bad. The knees well, mine. The, Yes it was. The knees did good, but the back the knees didn't bother me, but the back didn't get a little Yeah, tight. Wesley said, now we know. We know what his limit is. What, Wes? Three hours. Three hours. Uh, one mile, one point <laughs> eight tenths of a mile I walked today. You <laughs> It was like 2,400 steps. No, it was 6,000 steps. Steps? 6,000 oh, no, steps? You must have, no, that was like an average. You're looking at something else. Because well, I didn't get 6,000 steps. I got, I've got no, 4,696 like today. So... Anyway, okay. all right, that was fun. Thank you to everybody that we saw that we got. I didn't, of course, I didn't video anybody, but we talked to a lot of people, a lot of you, a lot of a lot of our YouTube family, yes, and that was really fun. So, um, all right, he's ready me to get on the road, get out of Raleigh, get out of the craziness before it gets too bad, because it's it's about that time. It's 4, about 000, time. Four thousand steps and one point eight miles. Good, good deal. Everybody got some good exercise today. Okay, back to um, back to the mud pit that we call home. 
Um, it is raw, y'all. It is raw. It is cold. It is damp. There is supposedly a little bit more rain coming in the morning, but we're going to leave the horses out tonight. We're just getting the stalls ready. We're out of hay. He's got to go get hay in the morning. I mean, we've got enough to feed him a little bit, but not more than one feeding. Um, and uh, anyway, we've got something else happening tomorrow. I will fill you in when it happens. I know I'm bad about that, right? But sometimes I just like to, I like to show instead of just tell, so. All right, Rocket is not happy about being in his cage. We put him up because he comes out here and he gets so messy he can't go in the house, so. All right, Wes got hay. You gotta get hay, I gotta clean stalls. Look what mom bought. You actually found them. I found those. I was talking about, I thought you were talking about the snaps. What snaps? For the buckets. Anyway, okay. Daddy's got to put some eye bolts over there so we can use that stall tomorrow. So I bought these like little uh, connector things for the hose. Cause one of my things that I just hate, I don't know why. It's just a, I don't know. I hate un having to undo the um, hose every time. But since with the weather, like we undo it every night and every morning whenever we have to use it so it doesn't freeze. But so this is like a quick connect. Yeah, I think it's gonna make life better, easier. Work smarter, not harder. Oh my goodness, y'all, here we go. Another rainy day. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my goodness, we have some dirty dirty wet horses ready to go in. Sorry boys. We're coming. Good gracious. Oh, cinch. You used to be a buckskin. Hey, baby. Oh, hey. There we go. Austin's run out there. To open the gate for him. That's good news, isn't it, Bonnie? Yes. Horses needed that. All right, that's good. We needed that hay. We needed that hay. We were slap slam out as of this morning. So that's good. Um, oh, I just can't get over this rain. It's just, it's just literally never ending at this point. It seems like so. The horses are tucked in their stalls. <laughs> drying off. We will have a lot of brushing to do later this afternoon. Uh, eating their hay, eating their breakfast. I mean, well, they've already finished their breakfast. Anyway, so it's just going to be a, a quiet, rainy afternoon here. I mean, plenty to do, actually. Got a lot to do. The kids are still finishing up school, and I've got some work to do, and uh, that's going to be about it. We've got one more kind of really sort of big thing happening in the next hour or so. Hold on for that. Austin has become quite the little chef. And look at you. She put on her pretty little denim uh, apron. apron is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. That's in our shop, y'all. Anywho, she's been making, she says she's made this the past four days. I mean, she's, look at her. Oh, wow. Getting fancy with the musket powder. What are you using, the red? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the red is so the red good on eggs. The red and the brown are your favorite. I use brown on this one, and then I use the red on the eggs. Oh, you put the brown on the potato and that. So this is like a, this is really like lunch, because it's 1130. It's like <laughs> she calls it brunch. <laughs> so she makes a potato. She cooks it in the microwave like I do a smashed potato. And then I and put then, it in a pan and put olive oil on it and smash it and put all the seasons on it. I put seasoned salt and musket powder. Season salt, musket powder, cheese, cheese and, and put it in the oven for however long you want. Brawls it in the oven, right? Melt the cheese away. Melt, so. melt it. And she's a nice tall glass of milk, a piece of toast and sourdough bread, and a fried egg. That is that that is what I'm talking about. That is a healthy meal. Protein, fat, fiber. Boom, boom. That silly door. We're about ready to throw that refrigerator down the gully, but 
<laughs> one day, one day we will. It's it's been a it's been a lemon for the last fifteen years. Anyway, um, okay, that's awesome. Yummy. It smells very good too. All right. What is it, Ben? Everybody, meet Cowboy. That's his bar name. Let's see, his name is Lena Doc Chexy Pep. Okay, so this is what we've done. We've added one more to the family. This is it, y'all. This is it. Uh, I know. I have a problem, evidently. A horse, a horse addiction, but um, cowboy is going to be better for Wesley to ride and show and use for the for the cattle, for the cattle events and all that. I got a lot of cow blood in me. He's real sweet. He's only three. He is a big boy. He is a big boy. Lady is excited. She has another another horse. She said thank you. What? Oh, he's four. I'm sorry. I said he was three. He's four, Rip's five. So, um, yeah. Here you go. So, we're going to let him stay in here between these two. We're going to put Rip over in the new stall for tonight. We're going to move everybody around. <laughs> Who was that? That was Hank. 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 <laughs> Hank. What do you think, yeah, Hank? I don't he know. No, he hasn't said anything. He's just a sweet, sweet boy. We got him from Wyatt same guy uh that we got ripped from i'm gonna put his um i'm gonna put his website in the description if you need a horse he's my he's gonna be my go-to horse horse source <laughs> i just i was very happy with rip and um he was everything he said he would be and this one just looks just as sweet and just as much potential so and old Cinchy here. Cinchy's doing good too. He's got a few little kinks to still get worked out. Got to get Daddy back on him. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of grooming to do. We got bless his heart. I'm gonna clean you up, huh? Mm -hmm. Ben, 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 Ben. <laughs> he has the sweetest eyes too. Very kind eyes. He's letting Wesley do anything to him. <laughs> You're so sweet. Another sweetie Petey. Yeah. Ben, can we be buddies? Can we be friends? All right. We have last minute additions being done. Thank you. We have water buckets. And what'd she say? You put up, I thought she said you put up a. All right, next is shoring up this. I was not, I did not like this down here because it could get his foot through. So we're going to put a board up, two boards. All right, buddy. Isn't this lovely? Hey, it's big. It's bigger than your other one. I think it is. Well, it's close. <sighs> we'll get you some shavings tomorrow. It's gonna be hay and hay and I mean old hay and leaves tonight. <laughs> but it's dry. It's dry. Yeah. Where's everybody? <laughs> I brushed you off as good as I could. There's your water. There's your hay. I just feel like he's gonna roll. All right, we've got those boards up down there. That makes me feel better. Okay. It'll work, buddy, it'll work. It'll work in a pinch. <laughs> what are you doing, lady? <laughs> Trying to get a light fixed. I didn't even know we had one down there that goes on the outside. 
Everybody's just hanging out. Just hanging out. Oh, it works. The light bulb still works. Right. Yeah. Turn it back off just in case I hit the hot. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, good. Got one extra light. We don't have any lights on the other side of the barn, but we're gonna run. We're gonna run off of this one and do that at some point, but at least we got light right here so we can see going around. Okay, good deal. Need a little teamwork to finish. <laughs> there goes Lady. Where's she going? He's over. He needed some pliers. And what do you know? He's got his Leatherman. <laughs> There you go. I built the house a few years after I built the house because I shot a big buck right there. Eight years after you built the house? A few, a few years. years. Oh, okay, then. I shot a big buck. The fence, there wasn't no fence there. And he was standing there peeing and crapping. And I was coming up through the silver <laughs> gate there on Fanny. And the Here. sun was going down. Here. And it looked like more horns than I thought. But that's him hanging on the oh. wall. Oh. You I shot him off the back of Fanny with a 223 at minute 14. Oh One bullet, he says, he just knows. Graveyard day. He was, saying, he was saying that this light stopped working six months after he built the barn and he never fixed it. I said, well, that would explain why the light bulb still works. So this barn's been up here 30 some years. And uh, anyway, that's exciting. 35. <laughs> Oh my 40, gosh. 40, years. 40 years okay 40 year old light bulb still works how about that they don't make them like they used to that's but for sure you need to get some more of them yeah those were good ones we put up huh i can't reach it i can't stick on it because oh yeah he's got right. it so high he said so the horses went and turn it on and off but we can't reach it can you yeah you can yes you can use well, you this your inside, put your hat on Use your noggin besides to put your hat. No, you can use the end of the um, pitchfork. Or that. There you go. Can you close it there? Oh, gosh. Turn it off. There you go. Okay. All right. Where there's a wheel. Very good. All right, y'all. Enjoy your hay. We'll see you later. We'll see you later.